I'm Ian Watt from Hillhead Farm at Gurgunic. We've got a 540 hectare farm. It's a split unit between sort of high ground and low ground. On the high ground, we're running about 800 blackface ewes, all crossed with blue faced leasters. And on the low ground, we've got 300 mule ewes, all crossed with a Texel tup. Tell me about the health status of the flock before you started using the Animax bolus seven years ago. About seven years ago, we were dis discovering that we were getting a lot of yelled gimmers. Um, we were getting quite a lot of mastitis and we were getting quite a lot of foot problems. Now, speaking to the vet, he reckoned there could be a trace element problem. We get a lot of problems with pine and lambs and we were treating them with a cobalt drench. But when we tested the ewes, we were finding that the cobalt status was very, very low. So after speaking to the vet, we started using the Animax cobalt and selenium boluses. And we found that the lambing percentages increased, the yield numbers dropped, and probably the foot and the mastitis problems started to kind of lessen a wee bit. That's a tremendous result. I mean, I don't know if you could put it all down to Animax boluses. We've changed a lot of other things at the same time. But I definitely feel that they've definitely health the, the overall health of the whole flock. You feel it's one of the components in a number of factors, but obviously, mm -hmm. you know, an important one. I mean, we've changed a lot of things in the health plan where, uh, like, so our food care's probably improved and the feeding regime's improved and possibly the breeding as well, but they've definitely helped on the, the cobalt status of the, of the flock. And what's that meant to your business? Pennies, probably. There's no doubt about that. I would say that our lambs are probably two kilos heavier than they were at the same time other years. Our ewe lambs that we sell will be stronger. Again, maybe not all put down to the, the Animax boluses, but uh, they've definitely helped. You've just come back from market today, and it must give you a tremendous sense of satisfaction to have a load of healthy lambs in that trailer off to market. There's no doubt about that. I mean, um, normally in years past, we'd have been... Uh, well at the end of July, sometimes in August before our first lambs went away and we'll now have quite often up to 200 to 300 lambs away by the end of July when the prices are still at a reasonable level. I mean if you can avoid the glut periods there's no doubt about it, you will, you'll cash in. Like, so. Tell me about the area that you farm here, is it deficient in any particular type of trace elements? It's deficient in copper, cobalt, selenium status isn't too bad, we've had forage analysis done and copper and cobalt levels are low. Uh, I think it's molybdenum, you call it, that locks up the copper and the cobalt. It's very high. We treat all the use with copper pre-tupping, uh, and that seems to cover them right through the whole year. Cobalt, we did at one point go once every six months, but we've now tightened that up, and we give one bolus, a straight cobalt bolus, in November, pre-tupping, and then when we're giving them our heptavac jag in February, we give them a cobalt and selenium, and that seems to give them a wee boost pre lambing And how did the copper deficiency present itself in the flock? Well, when we first came in here, we were getting sway back, so it was a bit of a no-brainer. I mean, the vet more or less said, give them copper or they'll just continue to have it. But in the lambs, we were finding that they weren't thriving, especially down the lower ground. We got them tested, and we also give them a two-gram copper needles out marking time about May. And giving them that Animax bolus, what difference has it made? They don't go through this period where they shoot and go lean. They just seem to keep on thriving. Even after they've been spent, we can keep flesh on them and keep them moving. Like. So that's, that's the main difference. We don't have this period where we, we go through a, a real store period where we just can't shift lambs. And that's what you want at the end of the day. Every farmer wants a healthy flock. And getting rid of them and get the cash in as quick as we can. Mm-hmm.